Ultima Worlds Online – Origin UWO Smiley Face — originally titled Ultima Online 2 UO2 — was to be the first sequel to the popular 1997 massively multiplayer online role-playing game Ultima Online. Origin Systems revealed that they were developing UO2 in September 1999 for release within a year or two, but development was cancelled on March 21, 2001. UO2 was to be set in Sozaria but in an alternate timeline where a cataclysm has collided the past, present, and future of Sozaria into a single world, thus bringing Industrial Revolution and steampunk elements to the medieval fantasy world. Players would have been able to choose from three playable races Juka, warriors from the Logos, the land of technology governed by Blackthorn Mir, magically adept beings from ancient Sozaria Humans, from Britannia, UO2, billed as a second generation MMORPG, was to improve upon Ultima Online and previous MMORPGs. The most noticeable advancement was the competitive 3D engine that replaced UO's aging isometric view. The design also changed several aspects that players voiced dislike for in the original UO. In UO2, player versus player combat was to be disabled by default except in special areas, such as arenas. The game also would have emphasized grouping, including groups of 20 to 30 players, and reduced the ability of single players to become all-around Grand Masters i.e., prevent the notorious «Tank Mage» characters that appeared in UO. In March 2001, Electronic Arts' parent company of Origin announced that development on Ultima Worlds Online, Origin would cease in order to provide additional support for Ultima Online. Shortly after, Ayer announced it had laid off 200 employees including some at Origin Systems. Ayer feared that UO2 would compete for subscribers with UO, which was still profitable and not showing signs of slowing down. About one-third of the team that worked on UO2 joined Destination Games to work on Richard Garriott's MMORPG, Tabula Rasa. Tabula Rasa ended up being cancelled a year after going online in 2009. Just a few years after Ultima Online 2 was cancelled, history repeated itself when Aya cancelled Ultima X, Odyssey in 2004. Origin Systems used music by industrial band Grim Fairies, which featured ex Tina X, Christina Petro of U2 fame, McKee Plastic, and Curse Mackey for soundtrack work on the UO2 project. Their song Love is Hell was used as the music on the first trailer for the game, which was released in a DVD format in the June 2000 issue of PC Gamer magazine. This helped propel the band to an international cult status among gamers and made that song a hit. Origins then funded a second GF track Fairy Raid to be remixed by the studio of Ken Hiwat". Marshall Skinny Puppy Production Guru, which was used for the music in the game's second trailer. Both of the official trailers can be found on YouTube and various gaming sites. Topic. See also. Ultima X Odyssey. Ultima Online.